Happy New Year and welcome to the January 2023 energy update. I have four decks out in front of me. I already chose the cards to save some time and we're just going to go through each one of them. So the first card that we get for, I guess you could say even for the energies for the year, but this is really specifically for January. Um, the first card is... I am protected by source. Okay, good thing to be reminded of, right? So let me see what this card wants to say. Now, this is a Kyle Gray um, Raise Your Vibration Oracle. So it reads, when this card comes to you, a divine spirit of protective light is pouring over you, your aura, and your space. Okay, good reminder, because that's always there. You can always access this divine light by just calling it in. But, you know, we get wrapped up in stuff and we totally forget. So this is a reminder of that. Um, it says you may have encountered shame or embarrassment in the past, but this is not your present. The life force of the universe is helping you move beyond any limiting thoughts, emotions, and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe or making you prepare for the worst. This, the part of your psyche that thinks of the worst possible outcomes is not a bad part. Um, it's a vulnerable and tender part that's trying to protect you. But today the message is that you, that you need to hear is that you are safe. Now we all want to hear that and feel that and really hold that, especially as the world's going crazy, right? <laughs> you are safe. Now this message has been coming up a lot. Um, so let's see what else this wants to say. So it says, do you believe it? If you're uncertain, if you're fearful, if you are exposed, call in the light of source. This high frequency energy will deflect any lower vibrations, ill intentions, or even people who are not considering your well-being or working towards your highest good, right? So always come back to you and connecting to that source. Instead of getting wrapped up in all little stories in your mind, or, or being triggered by these things that are showing up for you, right? That takes you away from the truth of who you are. When you connect to light, when you just sit quiet and you just call it in, it brings you back to knowing that you are safe, right? That you are protected by this light. We only become really vulnerable when we forget about that, when we stop acknowledging that we are light and that we can always call in more light. So anyway, there's a little bit more. It says... Know that you are strong and that you are even stronger when you unite with the universe. Its ever-present love and light will hold you through even the darkest of times. Today is reminding you that you are protected and it's safe to move forward. Okay, well, that's a nice message to hear when we're starting a whole new year after going through, you know, a pretty crazy one this last, 20, well, actually, the last couple of years. Um, but anyway, let's pick another one. This is the vibrational energy deck. Cute little deck. Quick messages. Um, so now this one, interestingly enough, end of days. Okay, end of days. I kind of feel like that with what's been going on right all around the world. So end of days it says the Bible talks of an apocaly apocalypse, the day of judgment and the end of days. It describes this as a destruction of mankind, whereas the true meaning is much greater and far more conceptual. The vibration of something ending means it opens the universal energies to accepting something new. Except where you have reached on this journey. Okay, so again, it feels to me like it's speaking to all of this that's going on. You know, I mean, the, the vibration of the planet is rising. Our vibrations are rising. We're opening up to all new uh, sixth sensory um, perceptions and experiences, right? We're becoming more of who we really are, believe it or not. But that's what's happening. So, and as that's happening, of course, it's bringing up all the denser, darker, heavier energies that need to be released so that the planet can move into this higher vibration so that we can really truly be more of who we really are, these creators who can create just with our thoughts and our imaginations, the vibrations that we send out, right? Now, it's been hard to hold a high vibration when this is happening because you're seeing, you're witnessing all these lower energies come to the surface. And, you know, the first thing is we start to 
uh, you know, kind of pull away from the light, like we start getting heavy and fearful. When you're heavy and fearful, you're not really holding the light, right? Your vibration is lower. So there's been a lot of that going on. And we're all doing it. Even those of us who work with energy, it's happening. And you have to experience it. Go through it. It's a great lesson in bringing yourself back to the light. Making that connection. It just takes a few seconds, right? Just make that connection. Bring it in. Breathe. Allow it to fill you up and bring you back to that connection to the source where you know that you are protected. Even when these things are happening, through it all, you know you're going to come out okay. Right? Maybe there's some tough things you have to go through, some things you have to look at in order to release that are going on in your own in your own little world, right? Not we've got the big world picture, then we got our own individual little worlds, right? So, okay, so we're, this is telling us, you know, that. Well, yeah, and so those days are ending. I'm going to take it that way, okay? Those days are ending. New days are coming. We're going through all these changes. You want to connect to that light. Keep that vibe high. But now this card is pulled in the reverse position, right? I'll try to get that glare out of there. So it's sacred pool. Sacred pool in the reversed. And so the card itself is about the world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world, okay? Great reminder. We need to hear that often, right? Because we can really get caught up in our day-to-day -day stuff and forget about really how connected we are to everything and how big and beautiful that energy is and can be when we let go of looking at the denser, heavier things or allowing them to affect us so much, be triggered, right? That's why energy healing, especially now, is really... Uh, something that helps you to release those heavier energies. And um, I got a special going on right now. I'll, I'll just put a comment in, in the description about that. You can get 25% off. So <laughs> this card is making me give that out to you. Anyway, sacred pool in the reverse. So here we go. It says, it can be difficult to overcome denial when there is a reward for staying where you are. Okay. If you can't accept and love yourself, you remain trapped wearing a false mask of victimhood. The benefit of embracing denial and the victim's mask is that you never have to take a real risk. So you might feel kind of safe staying where you are, even if there's stuff going on that is not pleasing to you. It feels a little more safe than taking a risk and going out there and put, you know, now's the time of expressing your truth. I mean, this is it, right? We need to connect to that light, be the light, share the light of who we really are. I mean, the world is wanting us to step up and contribute to the change. So I keep going off. Okay. So let's read this. Um, okay. So dimming your light serves no one. Okay. Get that through. Hold that, you know, like really let that sink in. Dimming your light serves no one. The, you know, the more you shine that light, the more you give other people permission to shine their light, right? So you're doing everyone and the world a service when you share your truth, when you shine your light, when you allow your gifts to come forward. So uh, it says, turning away from the truth that is reflected in the stillness of the sacred pool keeps you in denial doing the same thing over and over again, despite, expecting a different result. Such vain efforts lead to a tedious, boring existence. Yeah, there's no creativity in that, right? So take the risk and shine your beautiful light into the world. Look in the mirror, see the truth, surrender the need to self-sabotage, okay? Stop putting these little breaks and bumps in the way for you. Just want to connect to that light because it'll help you to have that more smooth sail. Like when you're connected, when you allow yourself to be open, inspiration comes in, right? You'll find that it's really not so difficult to move forward expressing your truth. When you make this connection and you have your guidance come through, it'll always steer you in the right, in the right direction, right? It'll guide you to the right things to do at the right time. So this is saying, remember that you have a responsibility, not just to yourself, but to the divine spark within you. Courage is not the absence of fear. Accept the discomfort of seeing with clear eyes and you'll soon find that wondrous adventures are waiting for you. Step into your magical life. Take a leap of faith. 
Now, I've been doing a lot of these little shorts videos and pulling like random cards here and there, stuff like that. And I'm telling you, the same message keeps coming up. And, and why not? Because this is the time. We need to all step into our truth, share our truth, because ultimately we're all love, right? No harm can come from that. Only good can be contributed to the world. And while we're making these big shifts in energy and we're seeing the things that haven't been serving us, how they've been holding us down, we're seeing that right in front of our eyes. You just have to look for it. It's all there. Right? So as people are waking up, it's all about this awakening, right? As you're waking up, you're seeing what you thought was true is not. You're seeing all the different ways that have been keeping you small. Now is your time to break through. Now is your time to be your truth, share your truth, connect to the light. It'll If you don't know your truth or if you're not sure what your gifts are, just keep connecting to the light and ask, you know, what, what is what is my secret sauce. So like, what is it I'm supposed to be doing? Like, what is it that I, how can I serve in the best way? Even if it's just a small little thing, every little thing adds up to something big, right? We want to make, we want to share every little, even if it's a little small thing that is of the light, share it. We don't want to share any more dark, dense energy. We don't, we don't want to feed the fear, right? That's what's been holding us back. All this stuff sent all the time. We're being bombarded with, watch out for this, watch out for this, fear this, fear this, fear this. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Really? Well, I don't know. Let me check in my truth and see, is that really bad for me? Is that something I need to fear? You got to come back to who you are, connect to that light, ask for the inspiration, ask your guidance, to guide you, to show you what is true for you. Anyway, one more card that I picked, picked <laughs> pulled, picked, reclaim, reclaim your art. Reclaim your art. Okay, so I don't know. let's see what it says. It says, every spirit is an artist, and without art, it has no way to express itself, right? Because art can be, is any form of expression, really. Um, let your creative spirit speak, write a poem, paint a picture, get out the watercolors, make a card, take a beautiful photo. Everybody's always on the cameras, right? You can always shoot some kind of video or take a photo of something beautiful. All you got to do is go out in nature, um, play music, create a gourmet meal or plant a garden. So many ways in which you can create. If you're comfortable in one art form, try another. Get, like, get out of your comfort zone. Explore, experiment with something else. Uh, get to know your spirit through your own artistic experimentation. Enjoy your creativity for yourself, right? Okay, just enjoy it for yourself. All it really, what it's doing is raising your vibration. So if we we're all holding a higher vibration, guess what? That's contagious. Just like bad vibrations are. How many times have you been sucked into somebody else's lower vibe, right? Because it can be contagious. But you can choose at any moment to be like, no, nope, sorry, not going there. I am going to feel and find my own way, my own vibration, my own connection to the light. So um, enjoy your creativity for yourself. Your ego, your controlling ego will try to tell you that art is a waste of time and has no value. Right. So that's what I was kind of getting at. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to go sell this. It's not for anyone else but you in the manner that is speaking to here. Just to be that without that creativity, how can you create what you want in your life? Right. We, we're, we all want to manifest beautiful lives. Well, you got to let yourself be in those higher vibrations. So as you're doing something as simple as artwork, you know, I mean, it could be anything. Um, it lifts your vibration, right? That puts you more in this magnetic, like, you know, put that little magnet in your forehead and call to you those things that you desire. When you're in that higher vibration, guess what? That magnet's always on. The good stuff starts coming in. Okay, so it says, um, this suffocates your spirit and sucks the joy out of your being. So don't allow your ego to scare your artistic spirit into silence. Nope, say no to that. Tell it to be quiet instead. There's no such thing as good art, only authentic art. Oh, I love that. And yours is crying out to be expressed. So don't worry about the opinions of others when it comes to your creation. It's first and foremost for you. You need it to feel your spirit and to hear what, is tr what it's trying to tell you. Again, 
when you're expressing yourself that way, you're letting yourself just kind of be fluid, like in the flow, just creating something. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It doesn't have to taste good. What you know, you're just playing with it. You'll find your way to make it into something beautiful, to have it to be a really beautiful, tasteful meal, right? It'll happen. Um, as long as you're allowing yourself that that creativity to express. So this is saying, don't worry about the opinions of others when it comes to your creations. It's first and foremost for you. You need to feel your spirit and to hear what it's trying to tell you. Silence is the critical ego. And hear your spirit through some form of art today by saying yes. Saying yes today. To, you're going to silence that ego and you're going to allow that creative part of you to express in whatever form you want because yeah we're going through some tough times right now there's a lot of things shifting in the world some people are completely oblivious to it and so maybe that's their way i don't know but i'm not here to judge anyone for how they deal with this change but what i'm saying and what these cards are saying here is you gotta allow yourself to share your truth to shine your light right to connect to that light Pull it in, send it out. There's an abundance of light once you just connect to it. And allow yourself to, as you, because as that vibration rises, you want to create. I mean, that, we want to create because we're creators. That's what we're here to do. So have fun with it. Like if it ever gets tough or when you start feeling it heavy, do something silly. Like, or just take your mind off of Whatever is going on, whether it's in your personal life, your business life, uh, relationships with family, with friends, um, your community, like whatever it is, you want to always, no matter what, connect to that light. You'll notice that you'll be drawn to people who carry a lot of light, right? Because it's like a magnet. Light attracts light. So as you purposefully raise your own vibration, connect to that light, let yourself express, find out what your truth is, share it out with the world just for the fun of it, just for the fun of it. Everything will start shifting. In fact, the things that are going on in the world probably will move through it faster because more and more people are connecting to the light. So I'd say, um, yeah, I would say that's pretty good reading for the whole year and especially for kicking it off in January. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please like, share, um, comment, love your comments, and I'll see you another time. Bye.